Thank you. Joining me now with more reaction, Jihad Watch Director Robert Spencer, the national spokesman for the Ahmadiyya uh, Muslim community. Uh, Qassam Rashid is with us. Guys, good to see you. Uh, Robert Spencer, let me begin with you. You heard John Kerry. You see the president has dug his heels in, and he's insisting that America take in refugees, even though we're being warned by our intelligence officials. What is your reaction to this, and what is the president, what is John Kerry not getting? Well, it's insane to the point of suicidal. Just today, the Turks arrested eight Islamic State operatives who were posing as refugees on their way to get into Europe. And so what the president and John Kerry are not getting, what they've never addressed, is the possibility of jihadis among the refugees. And yet that's the whole big elephant in the room that has everybody concerned about the refugee problem. He tried to make it into a, religious, a, fact, a, a problem of religious bigotry, saying some people want to only take in the Christians and not the Muslims. Well, the reason for that is that Muslims Muslims might blow us up, and the Christians are not going to. Mr. Rashid, is there a clash of cultures if somebody comes from an area of the world where they're taught that women must dress a certain way, that women need four male eyewitnesses for rape, that women can't drive, that women can't be seen in public without male relatives? Is there a culture clash? Because that seems to be the direct opposite uh, of what we have here in America. And how do we ascertain if somebody really wants to assimilate and have a better life or whether or not somebody secretly wants to engage in a caliphate? Well, Sean, thanks for having me on today. Uh, as you know, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, as Muslims who believe in the Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian, have advocated for universal human rights since day one. And the concerns being brought up regarding the refugees, His Holiness, the Khalifa of Islam, the true Khalifa, Mirza Masur Ahmad, brought up years ago that humanitarian values come first. We recognize the rights of all human beings. We should help refugees without a doubt. And there must be a comprehensive Are we, and thorough here, but let's vetting get to the heart of the process. Question. Is America risking that ISIS and ISIS-related terrorists will infiltrate the refugee community as our intelligence officials are suggesting they may very well? Are we, make, well, are think, we risking it, American lives by doing that, sir? I, I think we're risking American dignity if we don't help our refugees. The I didn't same ask, way you, we I didn't ask you that question. I asked you, is it likely that ISIS will infiltrate the refugee population to get at America? Is that likely? That, that's what ISIS has stated, and if we study history in 1939, so be, when the if ISIS of St. Louis that, came then, to Florida then we would be with 908 Jewish them refugees, in. and we sent those Jewish refugees Sir, back, wait a minute. very tragically, half of them died in the Holocaust. We it, can't it's, repeat it's, the mistakes of history out of fear. Okay, but maybe there's another way to help them, like, for example, a no-fly zone and, and, and security in a, in a certain area of Syria, yeah, where they can have refuge and we can provide humanitarian assistance. You know, if this is what they're saying, Robert Spencer, then you're right, this is suicidal. This president, the only problem is the president's gambling with American lives. There'll be blood on his hands Absolutely. if people, in fact, infiltrate and kill Americans like they did in Paris. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it, Sean. Look, the Islamic State told us this was coming. They threatened in February that they were going to flood Europe with 500,000 refugees. They weren't just trying to trigger a social crisis. They were going to plant jihadis among the refugees. They've already boasted that they've sent 4,000 into Europe. More are coming. Now Barack Obama, without ever addressing that, is going to bring this population over to the United States. People right. are going to die we as a result run. of this disastrous policy. This is unbelievable. All right, we have plenty more coming up next here on Hannity.